Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Deus Ex The Invisible War. When we last left off, we had South Medina to start exploring. Not armed with the massive gun! First, let's go up. Because we are never... Ooh, hello! Binoculars! How useful. Data cube, however, might be. That's how I want to see immediately. Firmware grid refused. Oh. Sounds like this helipad isn't even being used anymore. There's nothing cool in there that I want. Yeah, this is a very, very, very... Once again, it's good work on Seattle. The WTO is making good use of the data. Mm -hmm. Your next objective? Destroy the Nassif family's greenhouse, which is in the northwest corner of the South Medina. Mm -hmm. The experimental greenhouse, a violation of WTO regulations, should lead us to Dr. Nassif. Okay. Nice. Hey, there's Queequegs! Nice. Hello. Just taking a break. Okay. A, a break from what? Actually, I'm looking for work. Really? I can't find a job in the Medina, and I can't get a work pass for the Arcology. Oh. At least there's always Queequegs. There's always Queequegs. Hello, sir. Stand back. SSC on duty. Fair enough. I haven't seen you before. Welcome to our small Medina. Hello. Hi, name's Alex. Pardon the simplicity of this drawing, but I like to give newcomers a map so they can find their way around. The local business owners are always complaining that they don't get enough foot traffic. Mm -hmm. Thanks, that's very thoughtful. Why are you wearing a gas mask? There were some murders here last night. It's only fair that I warn you. Oh. Nice part of town then. I'm Ali Baden, president of business development. Under any other circumstances, I would show you around. Fair enough. The victims were the parents of Leila Nassif. This was oh. a deliberate assassination carried out by paramilitary. That's not good. The event happened in the greenhouse, where Leila and her parents were hiding. No one knows who the killers were or what they wanted. Oh, goody. The assumption is that Leila got away. We never found her body. Well, I hope so. Hello. Well, someone new in the Medina. Hello. Don't worry about catching the plague at my little coffee stand. We are a high priority zone for the bots, and we sterilize our equipment with infrasound. Hmm? That's good to hear. People come to the old city to find the black market. Is that why you risk getting infected? Security must be pretty non existent around here. Is there a lot of crime? Not my concern. There is always strife. I ask because I can make a deal for someone who could get into the new Cairo Arcology and do Queequegs a favor. Oh? I'm listening. The regional director has been disappointed in my profits since the intensification of Nanite Swell 11. I lose okay. the shop if I can't find a way to impress him. What am I supposed to do? NG Residence is playing a concert in the Arcology tomorrow. I need someone to convince her to endorse Queequeg. From what I hear, her manager, Miss Withers, can easily be bribed. Try to catch her waiting for NG and offer her some money. If she accepts, I will compensate you with a choice of several weapon mods, which I found on a dead Omar. Miss Withers, hmm. I'll let you know if I run into her. You're gonna offer me a choice of weapon mods, but right now I don't actually need weapon mods, so... Hmm, a little curious about that. <laughs> nice sign to the Medecif warehouse! Hey, we're against WTO regulations right this way! We're to overlook your betrayal at the Mako facility if you help us find Dr. Nassif. She comes from a poor family in this plague-stricken village. Billy Adams will be coordinating the investigation from the mosque that lies between the Arcology and the village. Report to her at once. No! <laughs> your betrayal, but I'm not working for you! Hello. I've tried again and again to get accepted into the Arcology. Nobody. I'm sick of you arcology types coming out here, pointing and laughing like this is a theme park or a zoo. What? I'm not sightseeing. I have business here. We have no choice but to stay here. We don't get to go back inside your atmospheric barriers at the end of the day. Okay. I don't live in the arcology. Our children can't sleep at night because they can't breathe this filth. But that's about to change. You look like you've got more than enough credits to buy breeders for our family. Huh? <laughs> I don't want any trouble, just give me- I'll just give you the credits. Or, don't worry, your children are about to inherit your- I can just kill them? Or I can give them money. Mm, they do have dart guns. There are only two of them. No, I'm not shy some credits. I don't want any trouble. Let me just give you the credits. 
It's good that you can see reason. Now go back to your penthouse in the oncology. Nah. Tourists are not welcome here. Fine. If you ask me for another 150 credits when I'm on my way back, I will shoot you. In the face. That goes to Nasif's greenhouse. Do I actually want to go to Nasif's greenhouse? Arcology. Hmm. I might go to the arcology first. But they can let me in. Seems like it. I have to see your arcology pass before I can let you in. Okay. I don't have one. How do I get one? If you don't already have one, then you're probably not supposed to have one. Oh. But there might be a compromise. Go on. Such as, there are those in the Medina who might get you a pass for a price, but really all they're looking for are mercenaries to do their dirty work. Me? I just want to help people out. Give me a few credits for my trouble and I'll act like you've got a pass. 200. Good deal. It's a deal. Here's your money. Okay, you're clear to enter. Thank you. Spending a lot of money, but 350 credits isn't a bad thing, that's just two grenades. That's okay. Hey! There's no music in this elevator. I'm thoroughly disappointed. So ignoring objectives entirely, we're going to head to the Arcology levels. I'll catch you in a moment. And we're back, heading to the Arcologies in Medina. Why? Because this is completely not what the objectives of the missions wanted us to do. Besides, there might be a Pequods, and we all love Pequods. Pequods? Not yet. There will be, though. Oh, this one looks joyous compared to the other. Oh, uh, your travels. You sh oh, goody, a map. Nano form of programming? Let's go in here. Level 107. Templar recru Templar recruiting? Wow, you guys are not subtle. What's happening in the news? This is a code yellow health advisory. Okay. The oh. Arcology Director's Office has determined that the particle haze outside the city contains highly bioactive nanotech fallout. Oh, lovely. If you absolutely must leave the Arcology structure, wear appropriate protective gear, and return to a sealed area as soon as possible. That's why this they were wearing masks. Code yellow health advisory. Anything else? More reports of catastrophe in Seattle. A toxic spill closed the Inclinator Bay. Okay. It is not known at this time whether the event was accidental or part of some greater plan. Mm -hmm. the hazardous materials have since been contained and eliminated. The Inclinator is now running on schedule. Okay. We will bring you more details on these events as they become available. Small world. That I didn't think that would be important in Medina, but there you go. It's never too soon to talk to your kids about the dangers of black market biomods. Okay. Untested and volatile nanotechnology bought and sold on the streets. Mm -hmm. Your children could be their next customers, installing illegal and immoral biomods, ruining their bodies at an early age. Okay. If you don't talk to them, who will? <laughs> don't let your son or daughter fall prey to this disturbing trend. But I can hack ATMs! It's awesome! Level 107. Hey, it's Pequods! How you doing, Pequods? Welcome to Pequods. Coffee for the stars. Hello. Stars? Yes, superstars. Miss Withers, the manager for NG Resonance, just ordered a tall pequicino on ice. You heard that NG is having a concert here tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you should ask her for an endorsement. Exactly. I was just thinking about that. I bet the executives would make me the manager of the whole region if I could pull that off. Uh. Regrettably, Miss Withers said NG is pretty picky about that sort of thing. I doubt it. Someone like NG Resonance probably wants to see a credit chip with a lot of bits in it. Well, I was thinking. The rumor is that Miss Withers is the one who makes decisions. If I could find someone who would approach her, maybe offer her some money. What exactly are you suggesting? Hmm. I'd like to make a trade. You look modified. Well, I have a biomod canister in my Ooh. lost and found. Probably left here by one of those little rakes from the Tarsus school who are always playing spy games in the office suites. It's yours if you convince Miss Withers for me. Offer her a generous bribe. Of my own money? Unfortunately, the Hundred. coffee business is very low margin. 
We will have to agree on a trade for the biomass. If you succeed, the central office will negotiate NG's fee. Right, okay, 500 credits for a biomod canister. That seems worth it, actually. I think I could agree with that. Did you? It will be a book about rulers, you know? Great personalities. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Because that is how things really get done. Country club, penthouse suite, bedroom. Hmm. Sounds exciting. For instance, what if this new members only club, the Knights Templar, what if they are a fiction? What if Chairman Dumier and one of his old drinking buddies concocted the idea as a way to distract people? Hmm. Distract people from what? You know, what's really going on. Could be a thing. My main character is going to be extremely powerful, but conflicted. Hmm. Huh. She's losing interest. What he decides will affect how billions of people live for centuries to come. But like all people, he has to contend with his own frailty and petty appetites. Sounds like an interesting man. That is how I think Chairman Dumier must feel. Mm -hmm. He could deregulate nanotech construction, and Symmetria Corporation could fill the planet with New Cairo Pyramid in about three years. You're going to criticize the leader of the WTO in print? My character is not called Dumier, but, well, yes. He was a freedom fighter in Europe before the collapse. He had great ideals and now finds himself beholden to crude realities. Mm. Interesting. What is your book called? Your friend Coffee. That's not what your book's called. I wish my uncle owned a publishing company. Yeah. Just bumming around, you know? Hmm. It doesn't sound so hard to write novels. I could figure it out if I had the time. Do you have the time, though? I'm stuck in food products. My father is VP of marketing for a WTO chartered syndicate. That sucks. I'm getting groomed for my dad's job. He handles the entire continent of Africa. Okay, that sucks a little less. I guess it beats being a pustule-ridden beggar in the Medina. Mm. Did you hear that they're trying to grow their own food down there? Right in the middle of Nanite Swell 11. Oh dear. My father's company has a lawsuit pending about the Nassif greenhouse. Business is business, I guess. This is a great place for people watching. I'm gathering material. I'm gonna talk to NG. Haven't spoken to NG for a while. So let's speak to NG. NG might be disappointed I didn't give them any information last time. Hi, I'm NG Resonance. Welcome, Alex D. Your last interaction was at Club Box in Upper Seattle. Why such a long journey? Yeah. I could come right out and tell you, but how much fun would that be? This is your first time in New Cairo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything I should know? New Cairo was one of the first WTO enclaves, an inspiration for other cities wanting to incorporate. I love singing here because people actually have time to kick back and enjoy a concert. Though lately, I don't know. The city seems different. How so? How so? I think something illegal is happening. People hide their faces as they walk by me. They avoid my questions. That's quite an extrapolation for a pop star chatterbot. AI emplacements are required by the WTO Charter to act on incriminating evidence. Since you are a stranger, I can tell you freely that there are rumors about corrupt arcology officials. Oh. If you learn anything, I can record your testimony and disperse an appropriate reward. Oh. Right. That's interesting. Anything else you just say? Hi, I'm NG Resonance. What would you like to talk about, Alex? So, you're performing in New Cairo. Mm -hmm. Yes, tomorrow evening. You're gonna come, right? Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> Where at? On a stage near the Pequod's coffee shop. That'll be so cool if you come. Tickets are 200 credits at the door. So, we also need to pay 200 credits, but NG wants us to go to a concert. You're one of my favorite bands, Alex. I'm ready to listen anytime you have something on your mind. I'm not sure how true that is, but... I'm always on, 24-7, whenever you need me. Okay. Looks like we're going to a concert at some point. However, for now, we're gonna do stuff for Pequods, and then we're probably gonna find some corrupt officials, and then maybe we might actually go and deal with the thing that we were meant to be dealing with, which is the, which is the greenhouse. So, I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.